HPE Intelligent Edge Performance. Uh, HPE was early with the Edge, huge Aruba yeah. acquisition. Uh, how they do? How they do in earnings? Well, they killed it, Pat. I mean, they they set some records, and I'm I, I saw that you were tweeting or xing out, you know, some insights as well tied to HPE's earnings. But what I found really compelling, their Intelligent Edge um, business unit, and as you mentioned, they've really been the first to to really focus on this whole notion of bringing intelligence to the to the network edge. So year over year, over 40% growth. And the Aruba networking portfolio is included in that. And so it's just, it's tremendous growth. I mean, given you know the prevailing economic conditions that are out there right now, it really sort of proves um, just the success that HP is having, not only with Edge, but just you know, networking in general. And hey, you know, at the end of the day, you know, everyone needs connectivity solutions. Um, I think there's lots of headroom as as you know we sort of look forward to future quarters. Um, you know, HPE acquired Athenet that brings um, LTE and 5G core capabilities uh, into a private networking offering, and I'm beginning to see the acceleration of private networking uh, within the enterprise as well. So, um, and then security they, they've made some security acquisitions that we've spoken about on prior podcasts. So I think there's also lots of headroom for further growth. Yeah, it's it's just amazing um, that that number is mind boggling. By the way, it, it didn't meet Wall Street expectations. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> no, 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 I know. Um, which I guess that's the that's the stock market kind of kind of challenge here. Yeah. But um, you know, HP has made a bunch of bets, and Aruba was uh, a huge bet, and. You know, we all talk about the pervasiveness of the edge and the growth of the edge, but numbers like this, uh, I think, uh, absolutely uh, speak uh, speak volumes. So, well, what can they do? I mean, I mean, what's 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 next? Will like they made a couple acquisitions with five yeah. G capabilities? I mean, what's their what's their room for growth here? I think you know, like I was mentioning earlier, I think it's really going to be around private cellular networking, Pat. And you know now that they have Athenet, they have Core, they they have all the key ingredients uh, to compete, you know, with with others in the marketplace. Um, and again, I'm continuing to see the the adoption of private networking accelerate. It, most of it's been around LTE because, quite frankly, LTE uh, does an adequate job for most uh, you know use cases and workloads and that sort of thing. But as companies get into um, computer vision and, and where video and latency become really, really important, that's where 5G is really going to shine. And so I think that Athenet acquisition, as they begin to integrate that, and by the way, that'll be integrated into the Aruba portfolio because prior to that, Aruba had a relationship with Solona where when they came across a private networking opportunity, basically Solona was on their price list. But now they're building their own solution that's going to provide them you know, uh, you know, deeper profit pools and I think, from my perspective, revenue upside. And then also some of the security announcements that they've made that have really enhanced what they're doing with SD-WAN and uh, Silver Peak. I think there's just plenty of growth for them, not only in edge, but in networking in general. 